Hi, I want to give you a quick overview of the Simple SMS script. Simple SMS is a PHP script that installs on your server and uh, it is encrypted and you need to activate it uh, in order to use it. And when you buy it, you get a certain number of activations. It means you can install it on any server anywhere, but that unique installation will need to be activated with uh, your, the code you receive. So, um, but the way it works is um, uh, each one of these columns represents a list. You can have as many lists as you want. Uh, generally, each installation, this particular script would represent a particular client. So in this case, it's a pizza. Uh, so let's just say it's a pizza shop. So uh, we've acquired a phone number for them. Uh, it's a local phone number. And um, it's only $1 per month and the text messages are only two cents each. This is the cheapest solution for text messages that I know of that's not free. Uh, and the free ones are definitely huge limitations on, if not being advertising inserted in them. But um, uh, you're not competing for keywords. So if you want to use the keyword pizza or whatever, you can use it because no one else is using your number here. Uh, there's no competition like on the short codes. Um, you can enter any kind of message you want. So a new subscriber message, you got three options for messages. When someone sends a message to your list with the keyword pizza, um, uh, they're going to get, they're either going to be a new subscriber, which you send them a particular message, maybe a, uh, you know, a, a special deal, a coupon of some sort. Uh, you can insert expiration dates or dates if you want to set a date that's a certain number of days into the future. In this case, I'm I'm saying expires and then it's going to insert a date that's seven days into the future from when they hit my list. And um, the next message is a, what's called a subscriber message. If someone's already subscribed to my list, I don't necessarily want to send them that same great deal I gave them when they first signed up. Um, or you could, it's really up to you. But um, if, they're, if they send the keyword pizza again and they're already on the list, I send them a different message. If they've unsubscribed and they're getting back on the list, I send them a, a different message as well. So these could all three be the same or they could all three be different. It's really up to you. Uh, so I have a, a list for pizza, I have a list for lunch. Um, optionally you can create a list for stop which means when someone is unsubscribing they're replying with the word stop. Uh, it will automatically unsubscribe them even if you don't have the stop list but let's say you want to give them a special offer uh, when they stop or some sort of special message like hey if you if you reply pizza, we'll give you this deal, or you know, sorry to see you go, or you know, or entice them to maybe get back on your list, uh, or just confirm that they're off your list. So then it comes to sending messages. Uh, you can view well, you can view your subscribers. Click on the subscribers for that list. Uh, you can see any scheduled uh, messages, meaning if you scheduled something in the future. Where, what is that message and when is it going out and you can delete that or cancel it if you want uh, and then when you go to send a message you type in your message you can choose to send it immediately or you can schedule that message for a particular date and time you just press send and off it goes um, there's also admin features here uh, when you click on when you're logged in as admin uh, you get some options that a regular user don't do not. I'm sorry, regular user does not see this. So uh, you have to be logged in as an admin user. Uh, you can change the title. You can change uh, the text underneath the title or add text. This is where you enter your Twilio settings. Um, uh, this is where you can uh, enable or disable the scheduling features if you, you may or may not want to use the scheduling features for your clients, but um, maybe it's something they pay extra for. It's up to you. You can en enable that. Uh, and then you can change the CSS settings for the, um, for the page itself. Then you save those, and, um, and those will be saved for this particular script here. There are also help features built in. So if you click on any of these help icons, you'll see the um, help related to, to those functions. And essentially, this script is an interface for Twilio. So Twilio provides a platform for developers to create applications such as this. It gives you cheap phone numbers, a dollar a month, text messaging for only two cents a piece. So uh, the script will do a lot for you, and you can uh, sell or resell or sell uh, installations to your clients. Thanks.